Well, believe it or not, it is only about 30 minutes until the sun goes down. Welcome to winter in Winnipeg. One of those perfect Winnipeg winter days. The sun has been out, even though it's going to be gone in a short time. Uh, and it's just cold enough that the snow's not melting. So it's comfortable. It actually is comfortable. Well, I'm out here at Archie Park and I have a little bit of a vlog. Uh, there was a meeting the other night and I expressed my view again in reference to pole archery and pole archery has been practiced in Winnipeg for about a hundred years. The club that I'm part of, signed behind me, Robin Hood, shout out of course, uh, this from 1929 to now, so what are we at, 93 years? Yeah, 93 years. The club across from us here, let's see if I can get them in the background. Well, you can just see their building and this stuff. Well, they started in 1926. Uh, the clubs have been shooting here from this particular field since 1952. So my argument has been and always will be at what point does this stop being a Belgian sport and start being a Canadian one? or a Winnipeg one for that matter. Because it is part of the Winnipeg heritage. But whenever I participate with the club and we do our promotions with through Folklorama and a lot of the comments are, is that this is Belgian pole archery of which many of my club members, rightly so, are very proud of their connection and their heritage and that they are practicing part of their culture and full on yes completely but the one thing that I, one question that I keep getting is do I have to be Belgian to do this well, I'm not Belgian I'm a Canadian never been to Europe don't plan on going um, so no you don't uh, but it also raises the question do you have to be Asian to do Asian archery? Do you have to be Japanese to do Japanese archery? Do you have to be a horse to do horse archery? I have a problem with that one. English longbows. Do you need to be an Englishman to shoot an English longbow? I speak English. Does that count? Here's the question. I love archery. Do I have to be anything but a lover of archery to practice any other form of archery? Or am I going to get accused of cultural misappropriation? That's the question for you. I practice pole archery. I argue vociferously at this point, it isn't just a Belgian sport or a Dutch sport or a Northern French sport. It's not a European sport. It is our sport. It's a Winnipeg tradition. The people who have kept this thing going, who started this and kept this going, should be proud of their accomplishments and more importantly, they should be proud of their connection to Belgium and celebrate the heritage of themselves and their families. And anyone else who, who's out there who wants to come and try something that is that they're not going to see very often, and that's shooting at something way up there. You know, see that? Yeah, look at way up there. You know, think the friendly giant here if you're Canadian. You know, look way up. You know, Rusty and Jerome. Um, make your way to Winnipeg where two of only three known vertical poles where you can shoot way up there and not get yelled at as long as we're here. No other place you can do that in North America that we are aware of. And no, you won't be misappropriating anybody's culture because we're happy to have you, and it's as Canadian as anything else is. Keep having fun, guys.